Hey, Jenny, how are you? Hey, boys and ghouls, Moon Girl here. So I appreciate you guys liking and sharing this live. It really is a blessing to me. And I would appreciate you guys liking and following my page. You can also support me on my YouTube, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and more. And on my Instagram. Ooh, some of you are ending a cycle with somebody off the bat. Somebody here has their energy withdrawn and is protecting their energy from somebody or a situation. Um, but we'll get to that in a bit, just off the bat. Anyways, I still would appreciate you guys, uh, following this page, my Instagram and YouTube, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and more. So I wanted to come up here and give you guys a live. Hope you all are doing well. Let me know where you're from. I love knowing where I'm connecting. Some of you are going to start something new. Hey, Joey. My Aqua Pisces, yeah. Thank you, Joey. You can definitely message me on here to book one, okay? <laughs> Hi, Amy. Oh, Joy, okay. Awesome. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Whitney. GA. Hey, Cindy. Tammy, hey. So thank you guys for joining me on this live. I know it's like Friday and people want to go out and have fun and you guys are taking time to watch little old me. So I appreciate that. <laughs> so let's do a little bone reading real quick. And I also want to say something, guys. I've noticed that when I do lives or on my recommendations, people like posting on there, uh, asking you all to do readings with them. They're not associated with me. It's a bunch of people from, I believe, like, their other places. Um, they're not associated with me at all. Please don't fall for it, okay? I will never solicitate you guys or bug you for any type of booking readings with me or message you for that unless you message me, okay? Please do not get fooled by these people, all right? They're only trying to steal your money and they're fakes. So just be aware of that. It's not me. Please take care of your money your energy, they're not associated with me at all, okay? <laughs> Guys, and if they keep leaving messages, I'm definitely gonna try to delete and block, okay? But I just wanna let you guys know that, all right? Thank you, jo Joy. Okay, so. Let me meditate over y'all's energy. I'm feeling like somebody's nervous. What are you nervous about? Let me know in the comments. I feel like somebody's like heart is racing. Waiting on some sort of news that's kind of making you nervous or worried. Okay, when it comes to your finances, guys, I do see some sort of wish fulfillment. This is either your work situation or um, your money in general, okay? So this is good. Um, that being said, and I've been getting this quite a bit, in your work situation or money-wise, there is a sneaky energy here that you need to be careful with, okay? The color green is being emphasized on me in a reptilian, like they slither in the ground, okay? So again, be careful with your energy with whoever this is, especially if you're working with them or you were working with them or collaborating of some kind. And I keep getting it for the past few lives, okay? So it's really showcasing itself to me. 
However, that being said, like I said, a wish fulfillment when it comes to money, money may be out of nowhere that you weren't expecting or you were hoping to get, or this could be some sort of offer in job or career or something like that. So this is very good here. But that being said, there's a sneaky energy who's jealous of you or what you do. So please be careful with that. Also, I kind of feel like somebody might want to take advantage of you or your money. So again, ojo, mucho ojo, okay? Some of you are definitely wishing, I hear, wishing upon a star when it comes to the love situation, okay? Some of you are definitely being strong, trying to move forward and healing something with somebody or somebody wants to heal something with you. Um, definitely obstacles when it comes to the love romance for some of you. Some of you definitely, your love life is being affected because of your career or finances. You could be at a distance from somebody. I'm getting the color green again, very heavily, the color green. Yes, definitely money, finances, or work is affecting your relationship some way, somehow. Some of you could be having like long distance relationships and maybe the traveling is a, I mean, it costs money to fly or whatever. Um, some of you are trying to overcome these obstacles that were in your love life also. Um, Yeah, hold on. Someone's going to overcome some sort of illness or is trying to, but you need to be aggressive and be on the ball with that. Okay, I'm sorry. I got distracted by this. I was looking at this, but then I saw this and I'm like, okay, wait, I need to talk about this real quick. Ah, uh, okay. Again, somebody needs to be aggressive when it comes to some sort of health issue. Either you or someone in your surroundings, Okay. Because I do see somebody's health maybe not being the best. And I feel like people are on the outskirts looking at this. Okay, if that makes sense. All right, so this is going to be a really quick bone reading, guys. If you want to book a personal, feel free to message me on here. Again, this is a very short bone reading. There's much more to it. But since we are doing a live, this is what I'm doing. Take whatever resonates with you guys. Leave whatever it doesn't because it is a general, okay? However, congratulations on um, the work or finance because that did look good. Okay, so let me move on with this. E. So let's do a shell reading. Hi, Rose. Hey, Miss Chi Chi. I have not checked yet. I'll let you know. I'm going to check tomorrow or maybe after this. Okay, somebody here is still very stuck on you, stuck on a situation or vice versa. Okay. If you're wondering about something, the answer is yes. Hope that's good news for you guys. This is good outcome. Generally, it's a good outcome. So, congratulations. And that, again, is a very short shell reading. There's more to that. Let's do some other shells. Wow, that's a lot of messages. <laughs> yes, somebody definitely wanting to return to your life, which I did get with the tarot earlier, remember? That those cards just kind of flew out. So there's a situation or a person wanting to return back into your life, okay? August could be a month of significance, or it will be. Okay, some of you could be dealing with Leos or having your chart, okay? April as well could be a month of significance or was. There is some sort of lies here, guys, so please be careful with that. I kind of feel like a lie is going to cost somebody sadness or has cost somebody sadness. Hey, Deb, how are you? Okay, so I feel like someone's definitely being flirty. Either this could be 
flirty with you or flirty with other people, okay? But I do feel flirty energy here. Speaking of flirty, there could be a Libra of significance. Hey, yo. So shout out to the Libras. <laughs> um, October could be a month of significance. Y'all could be dealing with a Libra or having your chart. There could be a Libra that's be, who's very flirty as well. What are the odds? Hmm. <laughs> there could also be something to do with law or signing papers, documents of some kind. Pay attention to your dreams, guys. You could definitely be getting downloads through your dreams. Some of you could be very creative right now or be in a creative field or just feeling very creative. Speaking of law, okay, we'll get back to that. Um, some of you could be very creative, so go with that, please, okay? Yes, what I told you earlier, Libra law. There could be some kind of um, issue with the law, okay? Some of you might have to go to court, um, sign papers, documents. Be careful with your driving, guys, okay? Somebody around you could possibly go to jail or something like that. Something to do with the law, so please be careful with that. Um, I also feel like things are going to be balancing out. There will be some sort of karma. So whatever side of karma you are on, there is some karma coming in here for you guys. So good karma or bad karma, okay? I do feel like there was a heavy burden here, but you will be overcoming it. December could be a month of significance. Y'all could be dealing with a Saggy. Shout out to the Saggies. They're fun. Something good coming in with your work. What did I tell you guys? Double confirmation. Congratulations. I really like this. Some of you could be getting a new job or a job offer of some kind um, or even like a higher position, something like that, which I really like it. This could be just out of nowhere. You weren't expecting it, which I do love. Something's going to come in here that makes you very happy, which I love again. Possibly be this thing with job or career. <laughs> they could be a Taurus of significance. We are in Taurus season. Shout out to the Taurus. Uh, you know what? I'm really feeling the Taurus this, uh, this year. So I dig you guys. What did I tell you earlier about Leo? There could definitely be a Leo of significance. Okay. Double confirmation. You can have it in your chart. Somebody could have really pretty hair. <laughs> Leos always have the best hair. Lucky. Love your way, though. Uh, there could definitely be a Virgo of significance or doing your homework. I'm um, seeing the Hermit card, okay? Somebody could be, like, evaluating the situation, maybe learning something, uh, taking classes online, okay? Doing your own personal research on a person or a situation, okay? No judgment here. Please pay attention to the signs. You are getting signs. There might be a few surprises coming your way. Uh, I'm getting the number three, which is funny because earlier I did um, a reading and the number three was of significance. So um, I'm getting it here as well. The number three, you could be seeing the number three um, quite a bit. Someone here might want your forgiveness or vice versa. You might want theirs. So let's do some sky stones. I want you all to meditate over a yes or no question. Earlier we got a yes with the shells. Let's see with this question if it's a yes as well. Or it could be a no. We'll see what we get. Y'all ready? Okay, guys, it was a yes again, so I hope that was good news, okay? And it come uh, double confirmation with the shells as well. So congratulations if that's good news for you guys. Let's see what we have in the... Actually, let's do these first, and then we'll go into love. And I brought the sassy tarot for you guys. I know you guys like them. Even though they say naughty words. <laughs> Let's get some of these. The Leo doesn't have good... Well, you have good hair, Cece. You're a Leo. Look at that hair. Look at that mane. Ooh. 
Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. What did I tell you earlier? There could be a Sag of significance. Okay, focus. Laser focus on the bigger picture, guys. Okay? There may be obstacles, but what's the goal? What's the end goal here? Okay, look at that. Oy, okay. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Yay, you see? There could be a cap of significance. Shout out to the caps. I'm feeling the caps too lately, so we'll see. A new start is coming, new moon. Boom, baby girl. Look. Love it. Those just flew in my face. <laughs> okay, we have emotions are running high. Super moon. So someone could definitely be in their feels here. It wasn't reverse. So I feel like someone here is definitely in their feels. The energy is gaining momentum, okay? So something's coming up, guys. I feel like you feel it in your veins, like Nancy says in the craft. Feel it running through my veins. Communication is key. New moon in uh, Gemini, which was reversed. So some of you could have your throat chakra blocked or someone around you does. There needs to be some sort of communication, okay? Um, someone here hasn't fully opened. I feel like I'm hearing the word full disclosure. So I don't know. There's something that somebody needs to speak up about. Maybe somebody's keeping something from you or you from them. And look, I'm looking this way and another card right here. Again, third chakra. It resonates. It's will. Uh, expression, self-control, and direction. Okay, so somebody definitely needs to express themselves. Let's see. Crystal, this Capricorn is weighing in, oh, in your feels. You're upset, Jenny? Aw, oh, big hugs. Yes, Miss Chi Chi, something is coming. Let's see what else we have for you guys. My beautiful ladies and gents in the live thank you for being here with me work through your fears new moon in scorpio so it could be a scorpio of significance shout out to the scorpios yeah some of you may be operating in fear there could be something that you're scared of we all have those feelings though but just try not to operate by fear because it can really block us from our blessings okay A time of healing, and it's in reverse. So some of you need to heal from a situation or a connection. I saw Aries right now, so there could be an Aries of significance. The color red could be of significance as well. I feel like I'm seeing red. So somebody here could be upset, whether you're end or someone's around you. Around you. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. So... Someone um, needs to open up their heart chakra here with the green. There could be a Virgo of significance. Some of you may be just doing too much for somebody. Okay. And some of you, honestly, I feel like maybe you're giving way too much to a situation. Putting more than the other person. Or you have in the past. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm pick Especially to my feminine energies out there. I'm picking up a sense of. Some men here are viewing you as a sugar mama or you've been a sugar mama to them, okay? I feel like you've been used by them in one way or another, either like you're the one who always takes them out, you're the one who always pays for this, um, you know, you're the hardworking one and you do it out of love, you know, because you care for this person, but they take advantage of that. Let me know in the comments because I feel it really strong. I feel that energy being thrown at me. Like, why do you always have to be the one who pays everything? Why do you always have to be the one who takes them? You're the one who gives them the gifts. And I feel like you're the one who's working and they're like not, you know, and it's an equal give and take. Well, you should be able to take your spouse out, you know, whenever, both of you. But I kind of feel like the feminine energy, some of you have been really, really taken advantage of. And I feel like it's been an ongoing thing through your life. Even if you're young and now you're older, I feel like it's happened throughout your life. So you guys need to take that energy back, put all that self-love into you, not other people, okay? And if you feel someone's taking advantage of you, it's time to cut ties with that. Seriously, because you're worth it. You are lovable and you deserve somebody who will give you equal give and take. Okay, 
So big hugs and love to you guys. And remember, you are not their mamas. That was your ex, Rose. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're the <laughs> the sugar mama. Oh, I'm sorry. That's how you feel in the past. I'm sorry, Layla. Oh, I'm sorry, Rose. Show the world your real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So some of you could be aquas. Shout out to my fellow aquas, my little star babies. I know I'm biased, guys, but I really love my Aquarians so much. <laughs> Um, so yeah, some of you, I feel like you've been hiding who you really are and I feel like you need to showcase who you really are. You know, don't dim your life for anybody, you know, show the, show the world your real you, the right people will come along and accept you. All right. And remember, we are in the age of Aquarius. We're very accepting. We love the weird and strange, the weirder, the better. Trust me, <laughs> we're open to that. <laughs> We have um, nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so if you feel like all is lost, don't completely give up because nothing's yet set in stone, guys. And it was a reverse. So double confirmation for me here. You may feel like defeated. Don't feel that way. This was in reverse as well. Meditate and contemplate. Okay, some of you really need to meditate on something. Some of you may be meditating or not really meditating, but you're kind of focusing on the negative. And it's not always easy when bad things are there for you not to focus on the negative. But try to not do that anymore, guys. Because remember, our thoughts are like spells and stuff. So you're going to manifest that bad energy in your life, okay? Newman and Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with Pisces or having your chart. Some of you could even be Aquas and Pisces. Shout out to you guys as well. Let's see what else? Whoa, this one wanted to come out. I'm gonna take it. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. More Virgo energy. You see, guys, self love, baby girl. Self love. Take care of yourself. Do something that not only feeds your, like, aesthetic, that you do something different to make you feel good, but feeds your soul, you know? Take that bubble bath. Look in the mirror and give yourself, like, nice words, confirmations. You're beautiful. You're good enough. You know, whatever it is you want to manifest. You're healthy. You're happy. Your family's healthy. Conclusions are within reach. Full, uh, full moon eclipse. So something's coming. Huh. Really quick, look what I saw, and I told you, um, Aries. What is this? It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. I'm going to take it. Let's see what this is. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Didn't we get Libra earlier, you little flirty sluts? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> lots of love to Libras. My best friend's a Libra. Jenny, lots of love to you, Jenny. Um, <laughs> so, okay, yeah. New love coming in for you guys, finally. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. More Scorpio energy here. Time to release this, guys. Moving forward. And look at the bottom of the deck here. Full. Somebody wants to start something new here. New journey, new chapter. Okay, so enough with that. Let's go with these. Some of you are getting a lot of attention here. Or you could be dealing with someone who is. You could be viewed as very attractive here. There could be a fire sign. If not, that's fine. That's just what the card represents. Um, speaking of Leos, right? And Sagis and Aries. We did say that earlier. Okay, so someone's getting a lot of attention. If you are dealing with somebody, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. There could be a mistress or mister. And this is just the truth. When these two cards are together, it usually indicates a mistress or mister to me. Okay. Um, so some of you may be aware of this now. Okay. And um, when it's in reverse here, the high priestess, especially when it comes to this, um, very sneaky energy here with this person. Okay. So just on a side note, uh, very manipulative energy. Someone here could definitely be dabbling in magic and spirituality because we do have a cat there, okay? So, on a side note, some of you could be 
the side piece or vice versa. Okay, just saying or someone could be getting a lot of attention and is dabbling with other people. Oh, you're not ready for the love cards. <laughs> Should we have done the love oracles first, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, there could be a separation here, guys. Also, maybe finances are not at the best right now. I do see somebody from the past making a turnaround, either, which we did get returned earlier in the shells, um, either love situation or this could even be, um, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could be in any type of um, relationship. Uh, it could just be a situation from the past period coming back or a love relationship. I'm also getting like there was some sort of secrets here or confusion. So the moon is there. Could be a choice here speaking of aries to me as a reader yes i know this is aries but to me personally i always feel like this is aries and capricorn so there could be an aries or a capricorn of significance if not that's fine that's just what the card represents okay let's see what we get with that there could be somebody here from the past who wants to make a turnaround towards you somebody you could have been connecting with Okay, somebody wants to take control of the situation. So say that you guys separated, whatever. Somebody wants to kind of like take control. Somebody's getting a lot of attention from other people. So maybe you guys separated because of whatever reason they see you getting attention. They're the boss. They're kind of jealous of this. They want to come back and take control before it's too late. Okay. And I keep, yeah, you can be at a distance from somebody, either emotionally or geographically. There could be a decision that somebody has to make here. Uh, there could have been confusion around that um, decision, but I feel like someone's leaning more towards one decision already. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to come back towards you. So again, you could be at a distance from this person emotionally or geographically. Um, there will be messages coming in or someone could be waiting on you or waiting on a message from you or vice versa. Yeah, but there was an ending here, guys. The ending of a cycle here. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There, was real, there wasn't any growth in this connection. There could be little to no communication with this person right now. It was a wish and fulfilled. What else we have here? Again, someone waiting. Okay, that one had to come out. What is that? Oof. Yeah, there was an ending here. Somebody here feels like there is no growth in this connection. Again, double confirmation. Somebody wants to heal this. There could be an Aquarius of significance. Back to this. There could be a Libra or a Taurus of significance. If not, that's fine. It's just what the card represents. There could be an uh, Aquarius of significance. Again, if not, that's fine. That's what the card represents. So somebody here wants to heal this connection or situation. Okay. Yeah, because there was a separation here. There could have been somebody dabbling with a third party. Cost a lot of stress, worry, anxiety. Someone's trying to heal from this. Uh, unrequired love. So, okay. You know, you could have been offering this cup of love to somebody and somebody was the classic, the grass is greener on the other side. What do I always tell you though, guys? All that glitters isn't gold. It's just a what? Leave in the comments. A motherfucking Snapchat filter, okay? So, just because something looks good doesn't mean it's actually good for you, okay? Read the fine print, guys. Your Taurus and Aquarius. <laughs> I see. Yep. Someone wants to start something new with you guys. What did I tell you earlier? Uh, there could be an Aries of significance. Ooh, but this is inconsistent energy. They're going to rush in and then rush out right away. Someone here is taking time to heal their heart. Withdrawing from somebody. Somebody here doesn't want to work on this anymore because there was competition, conflict, arguments, disputes. There was a separation. Speaking of Taurus, <laughs> there was a separation of some kind. Somebody here is unreliable. There could have been an age difference. If not, somebody was immature here. This person comes in with a love offer, but um, there's always a catch. Speaking of Taurus, Jesus Christ, Taurus energy is being thrown at me hard today. Um, hmm. 
Uh, there could be definitely a Taurus here of significance, uh, if not an Earth sign. That's just what the card represents, guys. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, I feel like this person might want to come in here for you all. Okay, unless this is you. Uh, yes, Debbie? Okay. <laughs> somebody here is a bit of a fuck boy or fuck girl okay they come in here for the passion remember uh the wands does signify the male phallic or the woman's woohoo so somebody here could be a bit of a playboy or play girl and your ass ain't having it anymore look at her she's about to load in a bob at this uh knight of swords here you know what i'm saying she's like uh-uh bro i know what you're up to never gonna get it never gonna get it never gonna get it never gonna get it well 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 i hear that song now <laughs> oh jesus guys you guys are funny <laughs> i'm getting your energy so yeah someone here like spoke up and was like no way bro i'm not doing this with you anymore that could be an air sign of significance it could be an earth sign of significance look yeah it was a divine partnership you guys were together but look she's not even she's just mm -mm. She ain't having it with this king of swords. <laughs> okay. Yes, he does have a poker face. And yes, he can withhold his energy. I feel like somebody was playing with your emotions. Like they don't really want to tell you how they truly feel about you. And this is someone you can't trust. Honestly, it can be kind of mean and saying not very nice things to you. Okay. But I feel like you are just, you had, you fed up with this person. Someone's still holding on to you either energetically or... Or emotionally here of some kind somebody just want to let go of this connection okay this could be you take it how it resonates also guys be careful with your finances somebody here could try to mess with your finances all right or someone here could be holding on to their money like their last two dollars in the Lone Star somebody here was uh, felt stabbed and betrayed there wasn't ending here because there's tens tens are endings that's new beginnings oops oh but look at the bottom of the deck somebody wants to make a turnaround like I said we keep getting turnaround here for you guys Ooh, look Mm, who broke your heart and they want to come back in after they broke your heart whatever bro oh yeah look so somebody could definitely have been like it could have been a lot of um connection could have solely been based on passion or the majority of it was you see because we have a devil card so there could be a capricorn of significance or somebody could have been very I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys somebody here could have been very lustful and could have had like some sort of sexual addiction maybe dabbled in like you know a lot of people online stuff like that there could have been a lot of online dating or online hooking up or whatever the case may be or secret uh, facebook's or snapchats or instagrams or whatever the case may be but this is toxic behavior this is also codependency over relying on somebody either emotionally financially physically sexually um someone um addictions you know um alcohol substance abuse sex um even overeating anything that's toxic um an obsession i feel like somebody here is obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them or the situation and look over here guys check it out we have the moon cancer pisces of significance even scorpio so yeah this person would keep secrets from you or vice versa and i feel like you're kind of getting clarity or you're putting puzzles together now you're like okay this makes sense now i know why he or she said this to me okay things are being made clear to you this i feel like this person's watching you on social media or you're watching them take it how it resonates no judgment Woo. Yep. Hmm. All right. So I kind of feel like you guys are doing your own thing. You're moving forward. And this person is seeing you bossing up here. Then I feel like they also see you like as, okay, this is someone who is reliable, someone who can bring stuff to the table. The other ones are kind of hoskies, but this is somebody I still kind of have some sort of connection or bond with. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. Let's see. Yeah, but homeboy had options. See? Seven of Cups. And again, what do I always tell you guys? All that glitters isn't gold. It's just a motherfucking Snapchat filter. Okay? So, yes. R read the fine print, guys. All right? Um, also, somebody here could be definitely daydreaming. Someone here could be getting downloads through their dreams, like I did say earlier as well. Okay? Someone here is definitely unhappy. I feel like they're unhappy with the choice they made. They could have ghosted you or left you for somebody else. 
okay and now they're like oh damn I, I messed up you look look at this yeah which causes separation somebody here is sad because you guys are not together anymore and they still want to collaborate with you okay this can also be in work okay um, because this isn't always the two of cups to me doesn't necessarily mean love it can mean but it could be friendship um, family co-workers anything like that the lover's card to me is more love so take it how it resonates okay this can be in love or work some of you could have like maybe you got fired or whatever you know and people still want to collaborate with you Ooh, sneaky energy i told you guys somebody was spying on you the ex boom because they see you single doing good for yourself they want to come in before somebody snags you along mm -hmm. so there could have been an age difference here guys if not somebody could have been immature somebody here could be very much in their head you could have cut somebody out of your life or vice versa but they're still watching you on social media or asking about you doing their homework on you or vice versa okay let's see You feel like I'm talking about you, Rosie? <laughs> They're bored then. <laughs> Let's see. What else? I ain't that one flew. Ooh, someone's crying over you. So lonesome without you. Yeah, okay. Uh heavy disappointment here someone's very disappointed in the way the situation transpired between you guys but this is also my and i say this all the time this is also my hope card because yes something's over yes something ended but if you turn around not all is lost okay um there's still two full cups here a whole new beginning for you guys whether love career doesn't matter what it is so if you are in your feels right now about a situation rest assured that there's still hope here guys okay you're just in your feels and this too shall pass. Someone here is definitely guarding their energy. Um, it could be you guarding it from them or vice versa. Take it how it resonates, okay? Ooh, so from somebody from the past. Boom. Okay, so somebody here definitely is waiting to reap the rewards of uh, their labor. Some of you might feel like you haven't. You could have also been dealing with somebody who decided to take a chance on something else you see how there's one pentacle here it's like i know for sure what i have here but what if i roll the dice and lady luck's on my side and i could find the rest of these okay so there's that somebody here is trying to manifest you back into their lives or a new situation you could also be viewing someone as a liar here yep oops this was that but let's shuffle Ooh, someone's definitely in their feels here, I feel. Temperance. Uh, there could be a Sag of Significance, also a Libra for me, which we did get Libra and Sag earlier, no? Um, yeah, slowly testing the waters with something, being divinely guided and protected by the 5D. Uh, things bouncing out back in your life here, okay? So let's do something else now, because tarot's fun, but I don't like just tarot. <laughs> So, hey guys, again, let me know where you are um, from. I love knowing where I'm connecting. So, let's get messages from the ex. And this is also messages for anyone connecting with somebody new because I mixed them up here. I know which is which. So, oops. Okay, let's see. For some of you, if you were dealing with somebody, new love came in for them, which could have possible, or for you, which could have possibly like interfered with y'all's connection. Or some of you might be getting new love. Somebody here wants you back, or vice versa. Somebody here could have been very dominate, uh, dominating in this connection. Somebody here was um, viewing you as a safety net, or keeping you as a safety net. You have I can't let go. However, it was in reverse. So I feel like you're trying to let go of this connection. Maybe they're still holding on to you, like I said earlier. 
we do have how could you have replaced me so fast so some of them could have already had a side piece okay there was a sense of disloyalty but i feel like you found out there was secrets here Somebody here could have possibly been doing some sort of spell work, guys, okay? Uh, either your end or their end, okay? But I feel like you kind of intuitively felt it. Somebody here is definitely a bitter Betty, okay? Um, if you're still having a hard time trying to get over this, or whoever is the one who's trying to get over it but is having a hard time, it's because they felt it strongly because there was a soulmate connection here with you guys. Soul tie, soul mate. Um, and remember, guys, just because they're your soulmate doesn't mean that they're meant to be with you. Sometimes soulmates come in here for a season. Other times they last a long time, a lifetime, and can even reincarnate with you, okay? And we can have more than one soulmate. Ah, oh, this is goodbye forever. This is how some of you may feel. Some of you may feel disgusted with this person. Like, just, ugh. That's why it's completely done. I know how that goes. Same. Ah, somebody here was keeping their options open. This could be either you're connecting with somebody new or somebody from the past, all right? If you are connecting with somebody new, I feel like they really want to work this with you. Work on this with you. This is if it's somebody new. So that was a lot. Let's see. I feel like somebody here misses you or you miss them. Take it how it resonates. I know you're talking to other people. Dang. All right. So some of you could have figured out that this person was dabbling with other people, other prospect, other prospects. Sorry, guys. So there could definitely be some sort of regret here on one of y'all's end, which we did get the five of cups. I'm afraid to reach out to you. So again, uh, what I told you earlier about the a throat chakra being blocked, somebody here wants to reach out to you or vice versa, but they're scared to. There's something they need to say. Unfair treatment. Somebody here was not treating you very fair. Things were off balance. What I told you guys earlier, somebody giving way more than the other person, kind of viewing them as a sugar mama in one way or another or mama. Okay, if you guys are dealing with somebody new, I feel like this person wants to take off with you. Like, just take off somewhere with you. You were dealing with a playboy or playgirl, which we did get earlier, remember, with that uh, Knight of Wands and his wand. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> wow, that one just hit me in the face. Let me see. Oh, so there was definitely jealousy here. This is either both ends. Uh, if it's somebody new or somebody from the past, I do feel like there was, there is or there was jealousy here. And what did I tell you earlier with the devil cards? There's some sort of obsession here. Somebody here is obsessed with your energy or with you or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Perverts. No. <laughs> oh. I'm not as happy as I seem. So, okay, this person could be putting up a front, posting all these fun things on social media that they're doing this or that, but secretly when they go home, they're crying over you or looking at your pictures, missing you. I keep feeling my heart racing, guys. And I told you this since the beginning. My heart is, like, racing really, really fast. So there could be something you're nervous about. Somebody you're scared, or there could be something to do with someone's actual heart here, high blood pressure or something like that. Um, I'm hearing this song in Spanish. I don't know how to say it. In, it's like, me sube el colesterol, mamacita, me sube el colesterol. So I don't know if someone's cholesterol. I'm, I'm hearing that song. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So I'm just giving you all the messages. Um, speaking of messages messages boom literally messages so you could be getting messages from somebody or vice versa someone here is trying to let go of this there was love hate relationship here with this person again we are done for good double confirmation guys and look again more confirmation somebody was definitely jealous here okay you could have blocked this person either energetically or you physically blocked them off your social medias okay 
someone here is like i'll never forgive you this could be you or them guys so i don't know what this person did to y'all but i don't think you're very happy with them okay Let's get some sassy tarot because they're fun. So these do have bad words, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. They're for fun, okay? So I hope nobody gets offended. F, shit is about to get real. F, you need your people around you. Then we had, what is this? Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Okay, so somebody here definitely needs to hear something. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Be effing grateful. Shit could be so much worse, which is true. Yes, yeah, some of y'all spirit guys are very sassy. <laughs> Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up, you are missing some cool shit. To be honest, I feel like this is the other way around. I feel like some of you are not getting enough sleep. I'm going to be real with you. I feel like some of you are not getting enough sleep. So I'm going to disagree with this card. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. Now, just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean you have to have them back in your life. Let them enter your life. You could forgive somebody and still care about them from a distance. You know, if it's a very negative person, very negative connection, toxic connection, you don't need to have this person or situation back in your life. You know what I mean? You can just forgive for peace of mind for yourself and move forward. And that's it. Wish them well. Your husband works at night. I know I told you guys I felt like it's the other way around. Like some of you are not getting enough sleep. Because I know I'm not. So I know you guys aren't either. I feel it. <laughs> it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. This is lies. I don't like this card. Let's just throw it away. <laughs> it's everyone else's fault but ours. I'm about to burn that card. I don't like that card. <laughs> Let's see. whining you got a good thing going don't what don't whine <laughs> okay no 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 i'm sorry i read that wrong winning <laughs> you got a good thing going don't win that shit don't win that shit on this card all right okay let's move forward <laughs> let's go effing apologize Seriously, just do it. So somebody here needs to apologize to you or vice versa. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. This is true, guys. So, move forward with that. Let's get some of these. Yes, we are perfect, damn it. No. <laughs> Love, kindness, sharing, receiving. So some of you are definitely need to open up your heart chakra or vice versa, someone around you. Inner child, honor your inner child. Do things with lightheartedness, okay? These cards are a little too big for my hands. That's way too much. So how are you guys doing tonight? That's a lot, but let's take some of it. Relationships, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, trust. Okay, so I do feel like some of you... Huh, I'm getting the sense of... Even though this may not have anything to do with it, but this card to me, I feel like someone's holding their stomach, like pregnancy... Okay, so either somebody around you or you could be pregnant. This is what I'm feeling or will become pregnant. So just watch out for that if you don't want a baby. Okay, because I'm getting like a baby energy. Okay. 
Some of you could be moving. Some of you may have to move. They keep hearing shelter. Someone definitely wants your forgiveness or vice versa, which we did get earlier. There could be some growth here that needs to happen. Expansion, healing. Somebody wants to heal something with you. I'm also getting, guys, that somebody here could be coming out of the closet. And it doesn't necessarily mean, like, coming out saying that they're gay or lesbian or whatever. It's um coming out with some sort of truth here, okay, that maybe they were scared uh, to say. Maybe they were scared to being judged. But again, we are in the age of Aquarius, guys. We're very accepting. Come out, whatever truth it is that you are hiding or don't feel ashamed of it. Don't feel, you know, you won't be judged. And if you are judged, F them. We accept you. Um, awareness, yes, presence, be in the moment, intelligence. Some of you could, there could be a book of significance for some of you. Some of you could be reading something or writing something here. Um, there could be some sort of education, knowledge of some kind. Some of you could do some online research or it could be going back to school, taking online classes. Again, there's some sort of communication being blocked here, guys. Third chakra blocked, which I kept getting for the past few lives. And I... I've been having a hard time talking these past few lives, so I do feel like someone here is definitely not speaking their truth, okay? Somebody needs to speak up. I kind of feel like if you did withdraw your energy from somebody, I feel like they really miss that connection. Like, they miss being able to... Like, tap into your energy whenever they want it. Like, pick up the phone and message you whenever they want it. Like, for any silly thing. Like, oh, here's a meme. Or, how you doing? Or, you know what I mean? And I feel like they're really feeling that. But some of you are setting personal boundaries. Because, you know, this person or situation no longer serves you. And you have to keep them blocked from your energy. All right? <laughs> Just eat them and swallow them whole. <gasps> You want to move? Uh, for me, it's 11.15 p.m. Tammy. Okay, guys. So let me see what else I can leave you with before I go. I was going to do a toothpick reading, but that is too much. Let's do messages from past loved ones. Hope I don't cry. If there is somebody that passed away, I want you guys to try to throw that energy at me. Okay? Think of the person that passed away that you want to connect with. Okay? Y'all ready? Off the bat, I'm getting an older gentleman. Older, white hair, kind of grandfatherish age. He looks Hispanic to me, but. We'll see. There could have been an accident of some kind here. Or something was an accident. There could be something unsolved here when it comes to someone's passing. Like I'm feeling like a sense of mystery behind this passing or some unanswered questions here. Something unresolved or unsolved. There could be an upcoming celebration and they want you to know that they will be there. For that or there was an upcoming celebration I told you guys earlier that I, I got the the pregnancy or baby <laughs> I 
This is super random because these cards, the ones that just fell out don't even belong here. But I'm going to take them anyways. I feel like some of you, and speaking of throat chakra, there was something you needed to say or something you wanted to say, but you didn't get a chance to tell them this before they're passing or vice versa. They didn't get a chance to tell you this. I also feel like uh, for some of you, family or friends were keeping you guys apart or there could have been some distance between you guys before they're passing for some of you. There could have been a situation of some kind, uh, some interference here, okay? It's really random because these these two cards don't belong here, but they're here for a reason. So I'm taking them for you guys. Tomorrow, these are for people who've passed. Okay, who want to communicate with you or vice versa. So again, throw that energy at me. Think of this somebody you want to communicate who's passed on the other side. And please leave me a comment below to see if any of this resonated with you guys. I feel like somebody wasn't able to talk. Prior to their passing. I feel like somebody felt trapped. I don't know. Trapped in their own body. Or just trapped. Oh, Please don't cry. So I feel like they know that you cry over them. They also say you have my permission. So if there's something that you're wondering about that you feel like you need their permission for, maybe you didn't get a chance to ask him or some of you may want to move forward or you want to do something. They say you have their permission. They have your permit. You have their permission. What I tell you earlier, there's some definite confusion surrounding their passing. What is this? You see these cards, guys? I'm going to be honest with you. These cards do not belong in this deck, and I have no idea why they came out here. Obviously, they want me to tell you something. Um, you are definitely their backbone, or vice versa. They view you this way, or you view, you view them that way. For some of you, there could have been a baby mama or baby daddy of significance, and I feel that that has something to do here with maybe them not being as close to you as they want it to be or something like that okay please take that how it resonates that's so random twice that happened can you hear me so they definitely come through here wanting to give you a message you see like i told you the throat chakra somebody wants to leave you a message to speak to you if you feel their energy know that it is them there could have been a loss of a child here guys could have been a miscarriage, abortion, or just something happened here as well. What else? I'm going to try not to cry because last time I pulled these cards and I started crying. So I, I'm going to try not to. I hear when you talk to me, guys, please keep talking to them. Okay, they know they can hear you. They feel you. They love when you talk to them or when you talk about them. I'm still with you. Ah, damn it. You see, I knew I was going to cry. Ah, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Okay. One day you'll know the truth. So what I tell you guys about confusion here or there's some kind of something unsolved. My eyes are getting watery. I'm not alone. So know that they're not alone. That somebody there was there waiting for them when they passed on the other side. Yes, that was me. So if you're wondering about something, if you think it was them who were near you at night, especially at night, um, during your sleep time, or you heard something, or you felt them, that was them. They're saying, yes, it was. I know I wasn't always easy to deal with. Please don't let my death consume you. Oh. That's so sad. Some of you are still struggling with their passing, which is totally understandable. What did you say? You just, oh my God, you just commented that? Oh, 
Big hugs, guys. I'm so sorry. It's super, super sad. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some of them felt like they were a burden to you towards the end or maybe even prior to them passing for one way or another. It was my time. Oh, my gosh. This is sad. So I feel like they want you to know that there was nothing you could have done. It was their time to move forward. I feel somebody's touching my leg. I'm just saying. My right leg. Like they're pulling on my leg. I don't know. Leg could be of significance. Or someone's leg. I hear when you talk to me. Thank you for honoring my memory. Oh, guys, I love this. I told you they love it. What did I tell you guys? I felt like a burden to you and the family. You see? Told you. Oh, I'm going to leave you with this one. I love you. Okay, guys, I that's already sad enough. I can't. I can't. But anyways, guys, I hope that these uh, messages helped you guys out at least a little bit. Um, so I'm going to read your comments real quick. Oh, Layla, big hugs. Your mom and grandfather, Rosie. Yes, uh, Jenny, it could definitely be somebody you never got to meet, like an ancestor or something like that. You felt that? Oh, Big hubs, Joy. You're welcome, Tammy. Thank you, Joy. Lauren, yes. Love your... Oh, thank you, hon. I appreciate that. You felt your brother sat in bed when you were trying to sleep and... Oh, that was definitely your brother, hon. You talk about your grandma and I feel her with you. Oh, that's sweet, Lori. You know what? For the past few days, I've been feeling my grandmother. She passed not too long ago, her and my grandfather. And um, I even dram her. And people come to me in, the, in, in, in my dreams who've passed or are about to pass. And I felt like there was a message for me there. And I was going through a hard time. And then literally the next day, I got some good news, guys. So I'm telling you, please pitch into your dreams. I don't know how you, what you dream, but how it made you feel. I always tell you, I'm going to emphasize that to you guys. Also, how it made you feel. That's probably even more important. Okay? And they do visit you in your dreams. Okay? And if you remember it, it's not a dream. It's a message or a warning. Okay, guys? Oh, you talk to your dad every day? Oh, you all had a problem with the baby mama? It could be anyone, Jenny. Your mom and grandfather. Oh, they t died in two years. I'm sorry. Big hugs your way. Big hugs, Jenna, with your dad. Oh. Today's the anniversary of your dad's passing. Oh my goodness, Tammy. Well, I'm glad you were able to, to see this live here. And big hugs your way. My condolences to you all. You were just thinking about your dad, Kim. Uh, uh, Joy, yeah, my YouTube is uh, same name, Moon Girl Tara and more if you're interested in being uh, looking at it. So anyways, guys, you all are very welcome. Thank you guys for having me and spending your Friday night with me. I really appreciate that, guys. Lots of love your way. And um, again, I would so appreciate you guys sharing this, hearting it, leaving me a cheeky comment. It really helps my channel circulate. And if you'd like to bless my channel, you can through Cash App, Moon Girl, Terror, and more. But uh, 
you guys sharing and liking it and commenting is a blessing enough for me. So thank you guys. So would appreciate you guys uh, liking and following my page and my YouTube and my Instagram. All of them the same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. Okay, guys, lots of love your way. Big hugs. And as always, stay magical. Bye, guys.